So in this video we're going to look at binary, binary numbers of binary dollar. So the first way in which I can give it to you is remember binary numbers only consists of ones and zeros. Alright? So if I give you the number 101, it's not 101, it's 101. And the fact that there's a tiny 2 at the bottom tells you, alright, I'm busy with binary numbers. Alright, so let's say they give us um, 11001. Alright? And they want us to write this in a decimal number or decimal form. So decimal form. It doesn't mean I want to go and get 0, 0.823, whatever. Remember, this is completely moved away from pure mathematics, if I can put it like that. All right. So decimal form just means, all right, I want to get it back into a normal number. I want to know, is this 20? Is it 30? I don't want to know it's 11001. All right. So the easiest way to do this is go and draw yourself a block or a box. Okay. And... We always start from the left hand side and we move up towards the right hand side. Okay, so how this works is I start with my lowest two. So remember this two means you always have a base of two. It's never going to change. Binary numbers always has a base of two. Alright, so then my first block will always be two to the power of zero. My next block will be 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4. And you can go on, you can go on to 2 to the power of 5, up to 2 to the power of infinity. Alright? But you always start from the right hand side with 2 to the power of 0. Alright, so now what I do is I take the number they give me and once again I fill it in from my right hand side. So it's going to be 1. Zero, zero, one, one. All right, so you also, when you write it, write it from the right hand side to the left hand side. So everything here is a bit of God. You do the opposite of what you would usually do. Now, if you have a one, it means you're going to take that number, that base, and you have to add it. All right, so I usually take my highlighter, and everywhere I have a one, so the blocks that have a one in it. I'm going to highlight all right and these are the blocks the highlighted blocks of the ones I have to add to give it so I have to go and say 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 0 and then I must just go and calculate all right what is 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 0 all right and then I no, my answer is going to be 25. So it means 11001 is the same value as 25. Okay, let's do another example. Let's say they gave me 10000 and then my base obviously tells me this is a binary number, so 2. Now I want to put this back into a decimal number, so a normal number. Alright, so I go and draw my block. Remember, you always draw your block from the right hand side to the left hand side. Alright, so this is going to be 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, etc. If you need to go on, you go on. Alright, and now I fill in my numbers. Once again, you fill in from the right hand side to the left hand side. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then I take my highlighter and I go and highlight wherever there is a 1. Okay, so I only have a 1 here at 2 to the power 4, which means I'm only going to calculate what is 2 to the power 4, which is 60. So it means the decimal number in brackets, the normal number of 10000 is 60. Okay, so this is definitely not difficult. Go and draw your block. Go from the right hand side to the left, fill in from the right hand side to the left and wherever you have a 1, those blocks you highlight and you add them together. Now what they sometimes do is they give you questions, alright? So let's say they ask us to calculate 10100 times 10000. 
Okay, now for a lot of us, it is really difficult to just know out of our head how to do it. Now you have all of your rules, knowing a zero and a zero stays a zero, or whatever. But if you struggle with that, you can always convert this to a normal number, calculate it, and take it back to a binary number. Alright, so let's draw our blocks. So my block for my first one, remember from the right hand side to the left hand side. So 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3 times. Right, same thing, my block from the right to the left. Okay. And 2 to the power of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I fill in my numbers from the right to the left. So this is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. And this one is going to start with 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then I take my highlighter. Alright. Then I take, okay, wherever I have a 1, I highlight those blocks. Because I know I have to add them together. So here I'm going to say 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 1 times on this side I have a 2 to the power 4 okay that's all I have on that side so I calculate this quickly so this is going to give me 8 plus 2 is 10 so it's going to be 10 times 16 which gives me 160 but now you need to read your question carefully so if I ask you to leave your answer in decimal form so remember this is decimal form okay decimal form all right or that they ask you to leave it in binary form. Because if they ask you for binary form, then this is going to not be wrong, but you're not going to get all of your marks. So now my question is, how am I going to take this 160 and take it back to a binary form? Well, same thing, all right? I have to get numbers to fill into my block. So here's my block so long. I'm going to draw my block so long. So that I just know I have to get to this. And then I know this is 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. And then if we need, we can go up. Then you need to know what are these values. Okay, so what is 2 to the power of 0? Well, it's 1. What's 2 to the power of 1? It's 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Um... Obviously, we can go on. 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 7. My handwriting is getting terrible. Okay, but this is going to give me 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. Then I'm going to get 108. And then the next one is going to be 2 to the power of 8, which is 216. And yeah, so up to there. But you can keep on going. Alright, so now you need to start with 160. And ask yourself, what is the biggest number? So what's the biggest 2 to the power of something that can go into 160? So if I look at this, the biggest one that can go into 216 will obviously be 108. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so I'm now going to say 160 minus 108 and because I use 108 I have to put a 1 all right so I'm going to say 160 minus 108 and that gives me 52 now I go to the next one so what's the next biggest number that can go into 52 so the next biggest number that can go into 52 is going to be 32 so because I'm using 32 I'm minusing it I have to put a 1 so 52 minus 32 is going to give me 20. And I'll ask again, what is the biggest number that can go into 20? Well, it's going to be 16. So now I'm going to minus 16, which gives me 4. All right, and because I use 16, remember you have to put your 1. And then what's the biggest number that can go into 4? Well, it's obviously going to be 4. So I'm going to minus with 4. And 4 minus 4 is 0. And remember to put in your 1. Alright, so you always need to get your answer here. Ooh, what did I do now? To 0. If you got 0, you are done. And now basically, 
you have all of your ones so your ones are the numbers you use the numbers you subtracted and then wherever you didn't have use that number you just put a zero all right so the answer of this will be one zero one one zero one zero zero and then remember your two to show you that this is a binary number all right so yeah binary numbers are usually important again they always ask you one or two questions usually they ask you one question to convert and then one question where you have to plus or minus or whatever but the easiest way is take your binary number make it a decimal number meaning a normal number and when you take it from a decimal number back into binary form unless you know all of your rules and your laws then obviously you can use that